Hello. Hi there, thanks for staying on hold. Okay, so I'm going to get a manager to call you back. I'm going to have to uh, make a case and then um, he's going to have to call you back if that's all right. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. So um, I'm just going to take a few details off you if that's okay. I would rather not to give my uh, name because I don't at the moment trust your organisation for what they've actually done to me, if that's okay. Yeah, so you don't want to give me your name, yeah? Yeah, you've got it. Fine. Okay, hold on then. Okay, yeah, well, um, obviously I don't, don't think you'd want to give your postcode either. Nope. If I just say to you Halifax store, that'll be okay, won't it? Uh, yeah, but I'm going to need your number for this, obviously, call you back. Yeah, no problem. That's fine, right, hold on then. Um, um, yeah, can I get your phone number, please? Yep, it's... And is it regarding exemption of face masks? It is. I know your staff approached me and things like that. And uh, a bully boy security guard as well. And about a security guard as well? Yeah. It was a bully boy. A bully? Yeah. An Asian guy it was. No offence taken on that side, but it was an Asian, uh, quite muscly built guy. Right. I'd like to know why Morrison stands on exemptions, if you can talk me through that as a customer representative. Uh, yeah, so with the um, face masks, obviously a new policy that we've bought out, we are offering every, well, we are supposed to be offering every customer a face mask, but if they're exempt posted, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to wear one, we're not allowed to challenge them, so that will basically be the end of that. So all we're, we're doing is offering customers to wear a face mask. We're not allowed to challenge them as to why they haven't got one or why they can't wear one. And yeah, that, that's it really. So would that actually, as a person that works in the store and the security guy turn around and saying uh, can you put a face mask on would you class that as challenging somebody because actually i would would you put a face mask on was that when you walked in the store when you was in the store when i walked into the store right so it goes would you put a face mask on and what did you respond to that i turned around and says to him politely that I'm exempt. Uh, I, sh I said you shouldn't. Yeah. You, by the government website legislation on the GovWem website, it says you shouldn't be actually challenging people. Uh, I did explain to him that it is, uh, it is uh, against the Equalities Act and that type of thing. And I did actually have a, a, a pin badge on my coat. And uh, because I had that pin badge on my coat, that's an exemption and proving that I'm an exemption. So the way you come across shouting at me. It really, yeah. put, it really put, it really put me off because I shouldn't have to show a piece of paper and I shouldn't have to actually prove my disability. If I just try and say I'm yeah. exempt, that should be enough, shouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, if if you've had that badge on that you're saying and the security guard saw that, then it shouldn't have offered you a face mask. Um, but obviously, like I said, they are supposed to be offering every customer that walks into a face mask. If you're exempt, then you know that's the end of it, really. That's all you need to say. Or you just say, I don't, I don't want to wear one, that'll be yeah. the end of it. But if he saw your badge, but he still challenged you, then obviously that would be something yeah, you have to look into. If I really wanted, though, I don't know if you actually know law wise, it is a hate crime to actually do it, and it is against other legislations before it COVID came out. So if I really wanted, I could sue Mr. Wilkinson. I believe it's John Wilkinson who owns Morrison's, isn't it? I could, I could. I... No, it's David Potts. David Potts. Well, it used to be Mr. Wilkinson at what a long time ago, probably. Um, right. So I could actually take your take your business, your obviously your company to court if I really wanted, and the judge would actually, yeah. I would actually win the case, and the judge would actually in my favour. She's actually put the phone down on me. Yeah, 